Greetings and salutations everyone, welcome back or for the very first time to the Farts and Crafts show where I am your host for this video, Dan Joe McCraps, and today we have Games of Interest, a new segment on this channel where I'm going to be looking at a bunch of gaming news stories, hopefully going to be introducing you to something you may never have heard of before, and uh, also going to be weighing in on things that everybody is talking about. So initially I was going to make this video yesterday, um, after the Pokemon Presents, uh, I just got up in the morning, had my breakfast, watched it, and was crushed. Uh, my dreams of Gen 4 remakes, or maybe even Gen 2 remakes, yeah, not happening apparently for a while. And uh, yeah, they announced um, Pokemon Unite. It was a... Uh, it was a dark day for the internet. Uh, even now, if you go to Twitter and you check hashtag Pokemon Presents, it's, uh, it's bad. It's very bad. Um, but it, basically, with Tencent, they are making a League of Legends kind of game, uh, MOBA. And um, I don't think it's going to do well, but it might. I don't know. It was a very popular genre a few years back but I don't know if there's really that much wiggle room in that space right now so I don't see many people playing this so um, it was especially disappointing because the previous week we got new Pokemon Snap announced we got a new app for um, Pokemon, or Pokemon Smile, that's what it was called. So brushing your teeth for kids and catching Pokemon in the process. And Pokemon Cafe, which I guess just came out. And it's mostly just a puzzle game. Uh, so the fact that they hyped this up and they were like, we need one thing. We need a whole presentation for this one thing. We'll see you guys in a week. Um, it was very disappointing, but we got Min Min for Smash, uh, Nintendo put out an amazing animation, like reveal trailer thing that Sakurai presented. Um, we got to see Sakurai's living room, which was very interesting. No Kirby stuff in there, which was not very authentic, but whatever. And we got a few Mii fighters introduced, including Heihachi from Tekken and Vault Boy from Fallout. And we got two new amiibos announced, uh, the hero from Dragon Quest and Joker from Persona. And we also got this very cool tweet from From Software. Uh, the Dark Souls series has sold over 27 million units to date. We are incredibly grateful to every single one of our players. This success is owed to you. Uh, we hope you continue to enjoy our games and look forward to Elden Ring the new action RPG that's currently in development. I thought this was fantastic. Um, perfect kind of uh, encouragement to help me feel appreciated as a fan of From Software and a player of Dark Souls, Armored Core, just for so many years. Um, I remember back when I first got my PS1 and we had the PS1 demo disc with Armored Core on it. Uh, I believe that was in 1997, maybe 98, one of the, no, it was 97 or 96, I believe. But yeah, um, I thought that was really cool to see. And um, I did check around the internet for other From Software kind of like news, and they haven't put out anything else on Elden Ring yet, but hopefully in these next few weeks we get some kind of preview uh, hopefully some gameplay, hopefully a release date, or at least a release window would be very appreciated. Also, we got Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2 announced um, by actually Iga himself did the presentation for Inti Creates. And um, this was awesome. It's an 8-bit, if you haven't played Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, um, first of all, play it. If you're a huge, if you're if you're a big fan of old school Castlevania, the visual style is like 8-bit 
um, kind of like Castlevania 3, um, but there's much more modern gameplay elements in it. The presentation is just beautiful pixel art. Um, the game has multiple playthrough uh, story sections, and it, it's it's just fantastic. Usually, you won't pay more than ten bucks for it on any platform, so highly recommend that one. And no release date on this one. It is coming to all major platforms on Switch, PS4, Xbox, Steam, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, next, we got Ease 9 confirmed for localization for PC, PS4, and Switch. Um, it looks like they're using the same engine from Ease 8, Lacrimosa of Donna, I think was the name of that one. And um, I didn't play that one, unfortunately. I do love Ease 7 on the PSP. It's one of my all-time favorite action RPGs. Um, but this looks good. Uh, as always, the main reason to play an Ease game is the gameplay. And uh, it's always tight, it's always good, so I have high hopes for this one. Um, meanwhile, on the PlayStation YouTube page, we've had some awesome uploads these past few days. So I'm just going to go over some of the ones that really uh, I thought were definitely worth watching. So we got the Horizon Forbidden West uh, kind of developer interview, which was really cool. Um, just any piece of information we get on that is going to be fantastic. We also got a Ratchet & Clank developer interview that was also very interesting looking. Uh, we also got a an animation trailer for Scarlet Nexus, which they advertised as PS5, but at the end of the trailer you can see it says PS4, PS5, so I don't know if the footage they showed was from PS4 Pro or PS5 captured, but who knows? It looks amazing, super anime, and um, just in, just anime AF. So seriously, check it out. Um, and lastly, we got Crash Bandicoot 4 confirmed. Uh, it is being developed by Toys for Bob, who made the uh, Insane Trilogy, the recreations of Crash 1, 2, and 3, and the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. And it looks really good. I'm very happy they're being put in charge of this, and um, I think this is going to please a lot of the fans. It's going to be really cool. We also got three new Kingdom Hearts announcements, um, including this one. I don't know how to say this, but... It's probably Kingdom Hearts Union Key Dark Road? Maybe? I'm always surprised by how Kingdom Hearts titles are actually pronounced, but um, it's coming out uh, June 22nd for iOS, Android, and Amazon. Yeah, I, yeah, unfortunately. It's a mobile game, right? And it looks kind of like a Flash version of Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance, which was a good game really good like i would recommend that one over the ps2 version um but i don't know i just have a feeling this isn't going to be that good uh the big announcement which they sandwiched right in the middle um of these two mediocre announcements was the soundtrack for kingdom hearts 3 is coming out and that is going to be fall 2020 so just in a few months uh they don't have an exact release date yet or even a month but it's going to be worldwide simultaneously, so that's cool. I don't know how this hasn't came out already. Um, it seems like a no-brainer. But the last one was a uh, rhythm game, which I guess is using the same engine as Kingdom Hearts 1 Remastered, which is weird. Um, they're kind of just always running on a track. Kind of looks like Guitar Hero in a way. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea, but... Um, I don't know. It might work out for them. Who knows? And also we got Prinny. Yeah, this was... I've heard nobody talking about this, but uh, yeah, Prinny 1.2? 1, 1 and 2? I don't know. Uh, Exploded and Reloaded. It is a collection of the first two Prinny games that came out on the PlayStation Portable. 
which were side-scrolling uh, action platformer games, um, with some really great humor, fantastic pixel art style, and just really good games. Um, a lot of people didn't play them though, it was kind of late in the PSP life cycle, to where interest had almost completely dropped off, at least over in uh, the United States. I know the PSP remained popular um, in Japan, but yeah, this is a, I'm really glad this is coming out because those were fantastic games. It's not really my genre, but um, I've played a little bit of the first printing game and the second one, actually, not for very long, but they were definitely well made, and um, this is really cool to see. Also, we got, um, I guess, more development on Tales of Crystoria. They recently finished their uh, their closed beta, or at least another part of their closed beta. No, they finished their closed beta. They now have an open beta. That's right. So um, you can pre-register for this game, uh, iOS and Android. It's It looks good from what I've heard. Most people are saying it's pretty great. Um, it does look kind of graphically intensive, so if you have kind of an older iOS or Android device, it might not run it very well, but if you have a newer phone and you want a Tales of Experience on the go, this might be your jam. I don't know. Um, today we also got an announcement for Fallen Legion Revenants, which is, I guess, a continuation in the Fallen Legion franchise? I don't, I don't know. I've never played any of the games, but it looked really good. Like, really good. So, I might check this out, especially if there's a demo. I'd definitely play it. I'm interested. Um, yeah, it looks cool. So, we also got a video the other day for Lost in Random, which I guess is in an EA original, like one of EA Studios that they bought, I guess. Zoink, maybe? I, I don't know. But this looks really good. Like, the art style is fantastic. Um, it looks like somewhat of an interesting story. Um, looks like maybe a 3D action puzzle platformer, but kind of narratively driven, possibly. I don't know, it's hard to tell, but um, it definitely looked interesting. So maybe check that out. We also got a trailer for Trails of Cold Steel 4. A lot of these are from NIS or Falcom, but um, I've personally never played the Trails of Cold Steel games. I know some people are big fans. Um, it's just not as much my style of JRPG, but it is in the Legend of Heroes franchise, I believe, which is a long-running series of games, and um, it's coming out October 27th, so that's, that's pretty cool. And lastly, we have Sonic the Hedgehog is turning 20, no, 30, 29, almost 30, it's almost 30 years of Sonic. I believe it was June of 1991 when the first Sonic game came out. Um, anyways, we got some big deals over at Steam. There's a few on the Nintendo eShop, uh, Sonic Mania is on sale on the PS4. Um, there's not very many Sonic sales on the PlayStation Store right now, um, but if you pick up a game on the Switch or on Steam, I guess you're looking at getting a pretty heavy discount. Or on the 3DS, actually, there were some 3DS titles, uh, virtual console kind of titles that um, were discounted. I didn't see any Wii U discounts, but I don't think Nintendo's going to be doing many sales on Wii U titles, unfortunately, going forward. Um, which is really lame. I still have my Wii U hooked up at all times, and I love playing it, but... Anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Uh, this has been Games of Interest. Thank you for stopping by. Let me know what you guys think in the new segment in the comment section down below, or just any of these things that I talked about. And, um... I'm probably going to do these like twice a week, maybe. Um, just going to kind of keep it kind of low-key, like just kind of casual. Um, more conversational in tone. I initially was going to, yeah, script these 
and I didn't really like the way they were turning out. So, because it is supposed to be kind of a conversation starter, but also concise, like just back to back to back to back. Hey, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. And because um, I know a lot of people get their news from YouTube these days, especially gaming news, because they don't want to scour every corner of the internet, um, or they just have it playing in the background while they're working on stuff or, you know, playing games or whatever they're doing. Um, I mean, a lot of people use YouTube as background noise these days. So um, if I have been your background noise, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks for stopping by. And until next time, I don't know, enjoy some noodles or something. Have a good one.